What's up everybody? I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More and today I am in San Antonio, Texas with Veronica from the SA Babes on Bikes for a bike race interview. But before we get started, I want to say thank you to everyone for tapping in on all the social medias, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. And remember to cycle because it makes you feel good. Mm. <laughs> Veronica, thank you so much for taking some time to speak to me today. Tell me a little bit about your cycling background and how you got involved in this event. Ah, where do I start? Okay. Um, well, I started with the Zombie Bicycle Club and very male dominant bike club. So I did a lot. I raced, I got really fast, and I realized really quickly that I was missing the ladies. So what I did is I started a Wednesday ride that started here at Woodlawn Lake. And reason being is because I had a lot of girlfriends or friends who said, hey, I'm not as fast as you, but I really want to get there. And I really just want to ride with women. And I thought, well, there's no more than a perfect space in this area here because you can go around Woodlawn Lake. It is bike lane protected. Everybody can go at their own speed. So I was like, this is perfect. So we started off here and then, you know, other things, other ideas kept popping up. Like, let's go here, let's go there. And I was like, you know what? Let's go support local businesses. So we started meeting at the Pearl and we take off uh, and uh, go visit local businesses and hang out with women. You know, it's just this fun Wednesday night that just kept happening and happening and happening. And it was like, I never want this to end. Now, yeah. this is a second annual here, third annual all together. Yes. Now, I got a special question from one of the audience members. Shout out to Zombie out in Dallas, Texas. She wants to know, what's the craziest thing that's happened to you since you started to ride bikes more? The craziest thing that's ever happened to me was I actually entered in the Red Bull races one year, 2018. And somebody said, hey, I think you can do it. And I said, you know, maybe I can. So me and another girl named Favi uh, were the only women from San Antonio, fixed gear, that uh, entered in the Red Bull races. And, uh, well, we didn't win, but we did participate. And it was so amazing. Everybody from San Antonio who knew we were from San Antonio knew our names and were yelling us out just because we were from the cities representing. So that was like the craziest thing that I have ever done. Nice. Yeah. To the people that are watching that maybe want to come out, how would you encourage them to start cycling? I would encourage them by, first of all, looking into getting any kind of bike that you're comfortable on, which is the most important thing. When you start off, you definitely want to get a bike where you feel good and you don't feel like you're going to tip over and stuff like that. And then, of course, helmets, lights, and join my group because we are a beginner group and we take in a lot of beginner riders and we never leave anybody behind and we never let them feel discouraged about riding. If you are not on a bicycle, I highly encourage it. I have witnessed a lot of people in the community that have suffered from mental illnesses just kind of come up and their lives completely change 100% because of cycling, because of the community. Everybody here is amazing and friendly. I personally, I go all out for these events and I host them and I try to keep them every year because they're for us. You know, they're for San Antonio. They're for the people of San Antonio. And it's nice to have things like this in our city. This is the Akoe event. We definitely encourage all women, but we also want money. So we're going to let all the guys raise. But no, we uh, it's for everybody. Honestly, it's uh, it's just to have a good time. It's one lap. There's nothing hard about it. Literally nothing hard about racing. About how long is the lap? Uh, I'd say it's about 1.7 miles, yeah, and you only got to go around one time. This race was built not to be competitive, so we do have medals for the people who win first, second, and third, but ultimately all you have to do is enter to race to win all of these prizes. Any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, shout out to SALR Lady Riders who put on uh, rides every week. The Mujeres Cycling Group that meet up on Tuesdays and Mondays. The Chicona races that are held annually. Shout out to all the women out there who are making cycling possible for us. Shout out to your boyfriend for holding the oh, camera. Yeah. Shout out to my Shout man. out to the homie for holding the light as well. I don't know his name, but shout out. Final um, message. Yes, all of our sponsors here. We wouldn't be able to host any of these events without all of these sponsors. All of these places help us and always are willing to sponsor us in any events that we're doing and we do the same for them. It's community and I love it. Yeah. Thanks for the invite. Yeah. I could not have said it better. I'm Luke <laughs> with Ride Bikes More and we are out. Mic check. Oh, no.
Mic check.